Howdy, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a National Geographic Mega Fossil Dig Kit. Let's go ahead and, well, dig right in. First things first, this is not a sponsored video. I paid with this with my own money. Uh, growing up, I've always wanted to have these kind of kits, but never really had the opportunity to have one myself. So I figured with my adult money, I can purchase these and show parents what you could be getting your kids for, um, you know, birthdays, Christmases, or just um, as an investment in your kid's hobby. So, Mega Fossil Dig Kit. I have not seen the inside of this particular kit itself. Uh, you can, it looks like you can dig up to 15 genuine fossils. Um, genuine fossil specimen inside. Uh, Orthoceros, Ammonite, Trilobite, Mosasaur Tooth, Corpolite, and a Crow Shark. Kit includes 15 real fossils, one extra large dig brick, one excavation tool, one excavation brush, one magnifying glass, and one learning guide with instructions. So, I did a shark tooth dig kit a while back. And if it's anything like that one, then I have an idea to kind of help speed up this process a little bit for the sake of the video. This is the guide, we'll get to that towards the end. We have our magnifying glass. I have a lot of these now. We have our little digging tool, little digging tool, and our little excavation brush. And of course, our dig brick. Now, as you can hear, that's pretty, that's pretty hard. For the sake of this video, we're gonna speed it up quite a bit. So I'm gonna put this in some warm water and kind of let it soak in, and it should help soften this up to the point where it just kind of falls apart. If you do invest in this for a child in your family, you can allow them to just, you know, go the hard route and just kind of slowly chip out this thing to get all the fossils out. Um, but like I said, for a sake of the video, we're gonna just dunk this in some hot water. Let it soak. You can see all the bubbles coming up. Should've did this with the shark tooth one. That's a little softer already. But it's not soft enough. Use a piece of obsidian to hold it down while I look at the instructions guide really quick. Part of me wonders if you're supposed to put it in water beforehand. <laughs> yep. Item number two. The specimens are buried inside your digging brick. Carefully dig into the brick with the tools provided. If the digging brick is too hard, soften it by pouring a little water onto the brick and letting it soak in. Yeah, I'm. this is going to be overdoing it uh, by a lot. So, let's see where we're at. Are we soft? No, we're still, we can, we can try it now. Oh yeah, that's much tougher to work with. And right off the bat, you have a fossil right there. Oh man, oh, we got two fossils right there, right off the bat. Looks like a shell. Like the Bob Ross of fossils now. Little happy little fossil right there. Don't be afraid to pat off your brush. We're gonna go ahead and see what we got. Mm. It's really difficult because I do want to speed through this, but at the same time, like my inner child is starting to come out. <laughs> oh man. Like right here we have a little little shell fossil. Just like that. A little shell fossil, or a little clam. Of course, we'll wash this off a little bit better later, but a little clam. So that's one fossil. Now it says there's 15, but I'll be the judge of that. Oh, is there another one right on top of a, yeah. Oh, I gotta be careful with this one. That's a shark tooth right there. A shark tooth right there. Get that out of the way. I think it'd be really fun to lear learn how to make this material right here and just make my own dig kits. Just like that. We have a little shark tooth. Oh, we have another fossil right here. Right there. Oh, one right next to it, too. It's really smooth. So 
you have one right there and one right here as well. This one looks to have some spirals on it, so it might be another shell fossil. Just got to carefully wiggle it out. Let's rinse it off really quick. Nice little swirly doodad. I know that's not the proper terminology, but hey, this looks like an orthoceros. Yeah, it's an orthoceros. So typically you'll find these at rock shops. They're pretty common. They're work specimens, so they've, they've been uh, worked and polished. And they can be as small as this or just massive. I don't think I actually have any orthoceros, like polished specimens in my collection. Just like that. Here we go. Little orthoceros fossil. Okay, I've been neglecting this one specimen over here. Let's get this. Let's get that one out. I think I know what this might be, possibly. I'm wondering if this is the underside of a tri trilobite uh, fossil specimen. It has that right shape to it. And those specimens are usually pretty porous. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna get that puppy out. Oh, that works too. <laughs> I found a fossil. <laughs> We'll go and just, I'm going to get back to that. We'll get back to that one. So yeah, this is a trilobite. So we're just going to very carefully break it. So, uh, be sure to excavate the fossil completely. <laughs> I'm not too worried. This is, you know, this is an experimental kit, but this also goes to show you, follow the instructions, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> by my advice. Oh my gosh. I can glue this back together. That's not really a big deal. These particular trilobite specimens are pretty fragile to begin with. I just broke this one. No big deal. No big deal. We're gonna let it soak. We're gonna let it soak. No big deal. I'm sure some of you might be screaming in the comments, what did you do? It's not a big deal. Follow the instructions. Don't really me. I'm just powering through it. We have another nice little fossil right there. Wash that off. And nice little shell fossil. So, oh, how did I miss that? A little uh, ammonite fell right out. I don't know where that one came from. Oh, came from right there. Huh. Look at that one. Oh, man. I like these laminate ones. They're so pretty. Uh, this one doesn't really... I just have some iridescence on there. Not a whole lot. Nice little... I mean, it's wet right now, but it, it is polished. So that's really cool. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Might as well. I already ruined one. <laughs> we're speeding right through this. So also we have two fossils right here. That's a piece of coprolite, AKA fossilized dino dung. It's very dense. And then what we got here? Very carefully undo that one. It kind of looks like, like a fossilized either like a sea urchin, I think. It's got that uh, star pattern there on the top. That's what it kind of looks like. You're wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. And then, of course, our uh, nice little dino poo right there. We have dug out nine fossils so far. There's supposed to be 15. Let's keep digging for the rest. Or let's keep breaking for the rest because, you know, let's face it, that's what I'm doing right now. There's no point in. I'll let that one soak a little bit more. Let's let it soak. Boom. So it looks like we have a couple more fossils to carefully excavate out so we don't break those too. <laughs> so there's no one here. I'll use the other side. I like the other side better. Carefully. That one kind of goes in. No, it doesn't. Okay. So it's like it's another shell of some kind, but I can't tell what yet. So I'll sit that right there until you wash it off. 
You got another fossil right there too. We'll get that one here in a second. Get this other one out first. Just like that. That was to be some kind of coral. Horned coral, I think. Yeah, some kind of horned coral. You got another uh, shell. It kind of reminds me of those stories of fast food workers that put an extra nugget in like a six or a ten piece just to brighten someone's day. And sometimes I think about that. It's like, what if someone that put this box together decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put a sixteenth piece in here just for, just for giggles, make someone's day. I think I've had that happen once where I got and. 10 piece nugget and there was 11 in there and you know what that did make my day that's the little things you know making a mess oh i think i see it. it has the tip of a mosasaur tooth okay is that it Oh no. That was relatively careful. Was that really all I came with? Okay. Well, I am going to keep excavating this small spot because that's. I know that they can. Some, some teeth fossils can be pretty fragile. And I'd hate to lose a piece of it. What is that? What is that? Is this part of it? Oh! Oh! Okay, that is Dino Bone. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'll take it. But what is right here? It was right next to where the Mosasaur tooth was. I think that might be another some some kind of tooth. I'm sure uh, if I have some fossil friends that are watching this, you can probably tell me what that is. Okay, so we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I was hoping for that sixteenth special little hidden nugget, but uh, you know, fifteen is that magical magic number. Um, I will double check to hear the other bits just in case maybe there is that nugget that I missed somewhere. But let's get these washed off and we'll see what we got. Before we recap the stuff that we just dug out of this fossil dig kit. Keep in mind that you're not getting top-notch, top-shelf, A-grade quality specimens. These are just fossil specimens. So, first off the bat is our little broken trilobite that I helped break even more. <laughs> you can kind of see that it wasn't the best quality condition before I broke it. Uh, There's even some dig material that was in there. So, I just helped break it faster. And again, follow the instructions with, the, with these kits. It says in there to dig around the, the fossils to very carefully excavate them out. And as you can see from my mistake of making the process faster, I broke one of the specimens. So luckily it was just this one, not the other ones. So that is our little trilobite. Next we have an Orthoceros. Again, it's not the best quality uh, specimen. Um, they, they do use more advertising fit pictures to make it look more appealing uh this would have been a, a little bit better specimen this is not this one not so much but still it's it's the thought <laughs> um it's, it's supposed to be fun and you know this was very very fun and um this is still really cool i don't have any of this in my collection so still that'd be a great addition to my shelf this right here is some kind of horned coral i'm fairly certain of that this stuff will actually take a really good polish. We have some corpolite, which is fossilized dino poo. These ones are, are a lot more dense than an agatized uh, corpolite. So now I have a couple of these in my collection. We have a fossilized shell. Actually, we have a couple fossilized shells. A couple cute little shells. Now, some of that dig material is still in there. I'll come back through with the, like a toothpick or something to clean those out, but that's what we got. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a fossilized sea urchin. Let's use our magnifying glass. See if I can... 
Magnifying glasses work better in person. And the best quality. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, a little fossilized seizure. I can just zoom in on my camera. That works just as good. Which works better. <laughs> but that's still really cool. I like the detail there in the top. Really cool. We have another little clam. It almost looks slightly agatized, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure what this is. It could be some kind of like tooth, I think. Again, uh, any of my fossil friends in the that are watching this video help correct me on this. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This has got to be some kind of clam of some kind, I think. It's got that, what looks like a little hinge right there. I think. I could be wrong. But that's what it kind of looks like. And for our teeth, we have a little, uh, was it crow shark? Has really nice serrations right there. Really nice serrations. That's actually a very nice intact tooth. So make a great addition to the shelf. We have here a Mosasaur tooth. I actually don't have the, any of these in my collection. Kind of expected to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're looking at the pictures, uh, <laughs> the size is not to scale. <laughs> uh, and again, these specimens are going to greatly vary in size and quality, of course. And last two, we have our little ammonite. Got a pretty decent polish on there. We have a little bit of iridescence there in the shell. Nice. It's a nice little bonus. And then we have here just a little chunk of um, agatized dinosaur bone. Uh, there's not really much I can really do with this. It's kind of a weird shape. I mean, I could probably make a really itty tiny itty bitty pendant out of this, but this is not worth it. Um, but yeah, that is what we dug out of the kit. And then we have here the Mega Fossil Instructions and Learning Guide. Again, follow the instructions. Don't lead by my example and just uh, rush into things. Take your time. Again, it says pouring a little bit of water. Uh, you are more than welcome to soak it. It does make it a little bit easier to dig. Um, so I would I would recommend just soaking it in some warm water for a while. Because I think I tried the pouring a little bit of water onto the brick before. And it just took forever. So keep that in mind. Uh, again... When you find a specimen, make sure to excavate all the way around it. Patience is key as to not damage the fragile specimens. Kyle. <laughs> it may break. <laughs> but it goes over what are fossils, how are fossils formed, the various fossils that can come with this kit. So the triblites, the crow shark, gastropods, and so the shells. Uh, Mosasaur teeth. Sting. Oh, so is this the tooth or is that the stinger so this is the tooth or the stinger that's i'll look into that really quick I'll, I'll put a thing down here on what it is um we had the brachiopods so that one that looked kind of funky i think that may have been it right there or that one yeah uh the orthoceros which was that one right there we got clams, the ammonites, uh, crinoids, which I didn't, there's no crinoids in this little box here, so we don't have to worry about that one. Uh, sea urchins, yeah, so the fossilized sea urchin. Uh, corals, dinosaur bone, and uh, the corpolite. And that's what you can get with this kit. Well, now you know what's on the inside of these dig kits. They are a little bit messy, but they are fun, so go out there, get one for a child in your life today, and watch them have fun with it. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Rock on!